This is a video for how to create number 11 out of your 20 ISOs project. So um, one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we count the width and the height and the depth, but I mainly only want to deal with a ledge that we'll create down here on this surface. I'm going to ignore from where you see my mouse up. I'm only going to build too tall by the width and by the depth for this one to start with. So in order for us to find our full width, we have to make sure we count every box. So if you can see me counting here, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I have to add on from here, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now that's tough for some people to see. You have to go to the furthest point out on this arc all the way back until you hit this wall. So let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's going to be eleven wide. And I'm only going to go up 2, and I'm going to go back 4, so 11 by 2 by 4. So once again, make sure you're in your correct ISO um, project folder. Say done. New English part create. Let's use our box command. I'm going to go to box, xy plane, origin, 11, tab, 2, enter. And then I'm going to hit 4, and I'm going to hit enter. And let's click on our house. And that right there is the bare bones ledge on the bottom, if you will. Now, we're going to do the subtractive method. Notice that we will be subtracting mass from this object. So we have laid flat this surface that goes back here. Now we're going to draw for ourselves a rectangle and extrude up another rectangular prism. So let's do this. We have four wide, one, two, three, four, by four, by how tall? We have to count from the top box down to this ledge. One, two, three, four. So this is going to be four wide, four deep, four tall. Let's go back to Inventor. Click on your pencil, and we're going to click on this surface. We're going to click on two-point rectangle. Click in the top left-hand corner. We're going to click. Now, what's nice about this is notice that I haven't snapped anything. I'm just still out here. I'm going to hit four, and I'm going to hit tab, and I'm going to hit four, and I'm going to hit enter. And it's automatically going to snap exactly the way that I wanted it. Let's go finish sketch extrude, and it's going to go up a distance of 4. Say OK. And you're kind of going to start to see now where we're at in making this part, because we're going to round off these corners through using something called fillet. So let's start down here in this area. What's the radius of this arc that we see right along this line? Now, 1, 2 goes back to the center point here. So look where we're at. I go back to 1, 2, and to the left, 1, 2. We're going to do a fillet, and we're going to round off these corners that have a radius of 2. Let's go back to Inventor. We're going to click on the fillet command up here. You're going to see this fillet feature button. We are going to click inside of here and put in the number 2. To round off a corner is like taking sandpaper on this edge right here and rounding it off until it has a radius of 2. So we are going to click on this corner, and then you're going to click on the opposite corner. And that's going to round off our edges at a radius of 2. We're going to say apply. Now let's go back here. The other corner we're going to round off is up here on the top. Now what's the radius of these arcs? Let's start at the center point here. 1, 2. That's the radius of 2. 1, 2 on the opposite side. Let's go back to Inventor. We're still in a radius of 2, except for this time we're going to click on these horizontal lines. And they're going to round off. Notice how we've been subtracting mass from the object. If I click on my front view, this used to have mass. It used to have material. It was part of the mass and the weight of the, pro of the product. It's not there anymore. We're going to round that off, and we're going to say OK. Now let's go to our house button. And you can start to see this kind of starting to take shape. But we have to cut these holes in here. And Inventor has something really neat that we can use. We don't have to draw two circles and connect them. We can use these things called slots. So we're going to go back to Inventor, and we're going to click on our pencil, and we're going to click on the top part of this object right here. And if I go click on the word rectangle, you can see that there's rectangles here, and there's these cool things called slots that we can use. We want a center-to-center center slot, so we're going to click on this. Now, I'm not going to click. I just want to reference the edge. So notice how when I came out here and I didn't click, I just let my mouse rest here. It automatically gave me this center point. So let's go back to our 20 ISO sheet. We need to go from, a, from this center point to the next center point. One, two, three is going to be the distance. So we're going to go back here, and I'm going to click on this origin part right here. And I'm going to hit the number 3, and I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to drag out 
And when I drag out, after I've hit enter, it's going to start asking me for a radius, the radius of the arc. Notice it's not a diameter. Let's go back to our 20 isos. From here to here is a distance of 1, is a total thickness of 2. But if you look at the black dotted line as I drag out, it's a distance of 1. I'm going to hit 1, and I'm going to hit enter. And that's going to give us this little slot right in here. Let's go to finish sketch. Let's go to extrude. And it automatically sees it. Now, obviously, this would be adding mass or subtracting mass. We're going to go to cut, distance, all. It's going to go all the way through the object, and we're going to say OK. And we've now gone ahead and cut that little slot out of it. Now, over here, for the circle and the hole, we could click on our pencil and just draw a circle and cut it, but let's use the hole command for this. Let's come up here. We don't have to go into sketch mode. We're going to click on hole. And instead of linear, we're going to go down to the word concentric. Concentric means two things that share the same center point. If we go back to our 20 ISO, this circle and this arc share the same center point. We're going to go back. What plane or surface are we doing this on? This is the surface. What's our concentric reference? This arc up here on top. Click on that arc. Now this little gold um, circle here is sharing the same center point as that arc. We're going to go back. What's the diameter of this? One, two. We're going to go back to Inventor. Two. Notice how automatically we have that hole that is sharing the same center point as that arc. We have through all selected. We say OK. I'm going to click on my house button. You now have number 11, your 20 ISOs made. Notice how we subtracted mass. We started out with this big rectangular prism, two rectangular prisms. We used fillet to round off the corners. We used slot to cut through the object, and we use the whole command to do a concentric circle and cut it through. So this right here has been how to build number 11 for your 20 ISOs project.